crazy, you worry all night, you walk the floor, I tried this over and over and over, I've done this over and over and over, and I've done this over and, and oh, and toss and turn in bed, day after day, night after night, week after week, and nothing in your net to show for it. Empty pockets, empty refrigerators, empty house, no love in your family, nothing, 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 but I worked so hard, nothing. Sound like Peter? Sound like some of us? Because you can't do it in your ability. You can work all night, you can slave twice as hard as anybody around you. You're not going to get one bit further than the next guy in your own power. Because the path leads to death. Watch. Master, I have toiled all night and I've caught nothing. Say it with me. Nothing. Nothing. Do you ever feel like that when you look in the mirror? Do you ever feel like that when you look in the refrigerator? You ever feel like that when you look in your purse or your wallet? Everything about your life is just nothingness, empty, shallow, dry. Well, I tried this new boyfriend. He turns out to be as big a nothing as the last boyfriend. Well, I'll try this woman. She's a bigger bunch of nothing, just dust and dryness as the last girlfriend. Well, I'll try this job. It doesn't work out any better than the last job. And you're still in debt. I've got it all! And it's nothing. Listen to Jesus. Master, I've told all night I've caught nothing. Nevertheless. But, because you're Jesus, because you're this great teacher I've heard about, and I don't want to hurt your feelings, I'm the fisherman, you're just a Bible teacher. You don't know nothing about fishing. But, I don't want to offend you, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Nevertheless, at your word, because you asked me to, I will let down the net. Mm. Mm. Look at somebody say, that's most Christian. I don't really believe this, but I don't want people to think I don't love God. I really have no faith whatsoever, but I want to look Christian. I, 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 I'm really not part of the hungry multitude, but because my relatives knock on my door and invite me to church and get in my face, well, at true word, I'll go to church. I'm not expecting anything to change. So I just kind of take half of my heart there. One net. When the master asks for all your nets. I'll show up with half my heart, half my attention, half my enthusiasm. I'll go through the motions because mama wants me to go to church. I'll go through the motions, empty-netted, only part of my heart there, because I'm supposed to. But I'm not really expecting anything. That way I know I'll explain to you why kids can go to hell when they got parents who love God with all their heart. Master, right there in your boat, but you've got empty nets, only giving half your heart, half your attention, half your submission to the Master. See, because you don't see what's inside Jesus' heart. You don't know why he's in your boat in the first place. Man, I worked so hard now you're asking me to go out and do it all over again. You're asking me to give more. You're asking me to work more. You're asking me to do the same thing over again. Yeah, but this time do it with Jesus. Amen. I said this time do it with Jesus. Amen. See, you can fish, you can do everything in your life your way, you'll end up nothing, empty nets. You can turn around and do the same thing when the master asks you to. Complete different results. Mm -hmm. Watch. Oh, <laughs> Watch. It's kind of like this. I like that guy because he's tall, he's dark, he's got big muscles, he, and, and, and he moves. He talks good. And he's a big zero. He's a big empty net. And then Jesus says, see that guy over there? Yeah. That's the one I picked for you. Yeah, but I'm tired of men. They're, they're, all men are dogs. All of them are dogs. Am I talking to anybody yet? Yeah. I've been married before. I've tried this man stuff. I ain't doing no, I don't need no man in my house. But the master said, see that one there? I've saved him for you. 
Well, I'll try one more time, and he's just going to be as good a jerk as that other muscle-bound smooth talk I met. And you go over there, and the guy's got a Bible tucked under his arm. He said, I've been saving myself for you. I love God with all my heart, and I'm going to minister to you, and I'm going to nurture you, and I'm going to protect you, and I'm going to guard you, and we're going to live holy, and I'm going to be committed and sanctified to you. And it's all different! It's still a man, but it's completely different when it's the master's plan. When somebody say, stop shopping in your natural thinking. Stop shopping in your natural thinking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so he's asking him to do what? What he just got through doing. Well, I've been to church before. I didn't get it. Go with a different attitude next time. I've done that church stuff. I didn't get nothing out of it. Take obedience with you. Why, well, your will, because you asked me to, Pastor, I'll come half-hearted, but I'm not expecting a miracle. Because you said so, Master, I'll go and I'll let down a net. So I told you to pay attention to this. What did Jesus say to do? Launch out into the deep and drop your nets. All of them. Peter said, well, I don't want to hurt your feelings, and I just got them all clean, I'll let down one net. That's where your hearts are. I'll come to church, but I don't expect nothing to change. I'll come to church and go through the motions because I, I, I want God to know I'm saved, but I don't really expect any of this Bible stuff to be real. Some of you are so busy with their nets, with their stuff. I, I've seen them come into this church, and they sit over here, and they talk for an hour. They, they can't put the stuff away for an hour. And they walk out the same way. Why? Because they didn't come hungry to have their nets filled up. They came busy with their one net. I'm here because I don't want to hurt their feelings faster, but I want, I'm not paying attention, and I'm not expecting a miracle, and, and this Bible stuff is good because Grandma said so, but it doesn't really change. And you'll never, you'll never, 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 never have a change in your life. First, you've got to get out in the deep. Two, you've got to obey. Master said, two nets. Don't give him one. Jesus said, go to church. He didn't say, go to church when you feel like it. Jesus said, sing and pray. He didn't say, stare at your book and go through the motion. Do you see how this net, this busy with your stuff, half-hearted, one net for the master, has bubbled all the way through Christianity, all the way through the church, and controls the whole city you live in? Every one of them, go ask them. You need to get saved. Oh, I know Jesus. Well, why do you drink a beer? Because... Well, well, why are you smoking dope? Because. Well, why don't you go to church? I don't have to go to church to worship God. Or just, what do you mean? Smoking dope and drinking beer worships God? And, and this half-netted, half-paying attention, I say that's all I care about. I don't want to hurt God's feelings. Leave me alone. I'll leave him alone. And just go about my empty net, bondage, drive, nothing like it. And it doesn't change. Remember, we're recording this. It doesn't change if you're white, black, rich, poor, Hispanic, Asian. If it's not following the Master, getting into the deep, obeying what He says, you'll stay an empty, unfulfilled, meaningless life going nowhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to close with this. Now watch closely. Launch down to the deep. Let down your nets for a catch. Peter Anthony said, Master, I've just got through working all night. I've just done everything you're asking me to do now. I caught nothing. Nevertheless, because you're asking me to, and I don't want to hurt your feelings, I'll let down a net. Do you see it? Let down your nets. I'll let down one net. Why are you only letting down one net? Because I already did what you're asking me to do. Now it was when you work in my boat, and you work with me, and you work in my life, that I had zero results. Now that you're here, I don't see my miracle right in front of me. I don't understand what you're trying to do in my life. 
I don't get the 